What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of BH Brewing. In today's episode, given it's the run up to Christmas, we're going to make ourselves a lovely delicious winter stout. For this video I've decided to do things a little differently. Usually when I do these videos I go through every single tiny step and show you how we make the beer. This time I'm going to try and make it a little shorter and just run through it a bit quicker. Okay, so first of all let's run through the ingredients we're going to use to make this lovely stout. We have got Cooper's Dark Liquid Malt Extract, 6.6 .6 pounds of that, so two tins. And then for our steeping grains we have some chocolate malt, some Caramunic malt, Caramunic 1 that is, some Crystal 200 malt, some extra special malt. Now I've never brewed with this but it sounds like it's going to be lovely. This is just a little description on it. Toasted marshmallow, toast, mild coffee, prunes, dry and woody. Delicious. And finally, some caramel. So what we're going for is kind of a quite a complex body with those steeping grains. Um, obviously it's just for steeping, we use an extract, but I've used a couple of these before and they've come up with a really nice multi backbone to our beer. And when we're making a stout, that's kind of what we need. So that's what we're going with for that. And we've got the chocolate for kind of colour, bitterness, so we get that really kind of nice dark beer. We're also adding two additional, no, three additional ingredients. We've got cocoa powder or cacao powder, if you want to pronounce it. Uh, this is organic stuff. It's got no additional sugar in it. It's just pure powder. I've used this stuff before. Absolutely fantastic stuff. We've also got some coffee. Uh, I do like this because this is... What we're making is a, a chocolate coffee vanilla porter or vanilla stout. Um, so I've got some uh, coffee here. This is decaf coffee. Uh, unfortunately, I can't have caffeine, so decaf it is, but it still tastes good. And plus, don't keep up late at night. And finally, we've got some lactose sugar. Lactose sugar obviously is uh, non fermentable sugar. So what it does is it makes the beer taste really kind of sweet, which is what we're after. And finally, the final thing, they're going to add the fridge is this. This is a vanilla paste. Um, we're going to be using some of this. I'm not sure how much yet as of yet. Um, I've had a little taste of this. It is pure vanilla paste. There's no any horrible additions in there. A lot of these are all like full of sugar and just full of crap. That little thing cost me 20 quid. <laughs> um, so uh, hopefully with the price point it should be good stuff. Um, so what we're going to end up with, fingers crossed, is that lovely chocolatey, vanilla-y, just mm, coffee porter, which everybody loves. Um, fingers crossed we achieve that, let's get brewing. Okay, so here is our steeping grains. As you can see, there is a, quite a lot in there. That's probably the most steeping grains I think I've ever used uh, while making an extract brew. So um, not sure how this will go. I've probably got too much there, but um, bugger it. This is now going to our brew kettle and um, it's gonna steep. Okay, so we're in our steeping bag, as you can see, it is a big old bag. It's huge. So we'll let this steep for 20 minutes and then we'll remove it and add a uh, malt extract. So we've already added one of these dry malt extracts. We're just gonna go in with the second one. Like dark like syrup. The key thing to remember when doing this is always to stir because otherwise it might stick to the bottom and get burnt and that's the last thing we want so constantly stirring while we're putting this stuff in. Okay so all our dry malt extract is in now we're going to stick this back on the flame bring it back up to boil and then we'll add our uh, hops at 60 minutes. Okay as you can see we've got our pot nice and boiling underway and we've added our hop additions so now we've just basically got to wait 60 minutes and then at the end of the 60 minutes we'll add our coffee, our cocoa and finally our vanilla extract. So then goes the lactose sugar, give this a good stir and again all this does is just makes the beer a lot sweeter because uh, lactose sugar is uh, not fermented by yeast, so it will give us a, uh, a lovely sweet flavour to the beer, which is what we want. We're also going to add in our cocoa powder or cacao, whatever you want to pronounce it. In with a shitload of that we go. Give this a good stir. This is difficult not to get this to clump, so we'll give it a proper good stir, make sure it's almost whirlpool, like create a whirlpool in, in the beer, in the wort, sorry, and then just really mix that in 
gives that real chocolatey flavour. Already smells super chocolatey, so that's good. And the two final things to go in, we'll turn this off now, that's uh, pretty much dissolved, so turning the flame out is the uh, coffee we have, which I've put it just in a muslin bag. So it's just like a, you know, as you expect a Normally if you have filter coffee you'd have it in a cafetiere or something similar, so we'll let that sit in there for uh, probably about five to ten minutes, let that brew nicely in there, let all the coffee granules mix in, and then all we have to do after that is add our vanilla uh, paste, which obviously I'm not going to show you doing because it will take forever because I'm going to pour out multiple of that. Okay, so we have our wort all in here, lovely and ready to go. All we need to do now is pitch our yeast. Uh, for this one, we are using White Labs uh, WLP04 uh, Irish Ale Yeast, which I've never used before, but I've heard is very good with stouts, so this should be absolutely perfect. Obviously, all my stuff is sat in sterilised liquid here, so it's uh, not going to affect the beer. See, what you should do is mix this up, but I've obviously not done that, so here goes nothing. And there's our yeast. It's in a big clump form, because I've not mixed it very well, but it should be okay. I've never had any problems doing this before when I've not mixed it, so as long as you get all the yeast in there, it shouldn't be a problem. And if anything, you can just put a bit of water in this and almost kind of wash it out, and then that would... Uh, do the solution which I just might do just to make sure it's all in there but if anything I'm over pitching this yeast as is anyway so we shouldn't have any problems. Let's stop on. So now all I've got to do is give this a good old shake, mix it back, make sure that yeast is fully in there, make sure the wort is aerated and then we'll come back in a couple of weeks and uh, be able to keg this and uh, hopefully after a few more days give it a try. There we have it guys, that is our chocolate coffee a vanilla stout done. Join us in a couple of weeks time where we'll be trying that bad boy and hopefully, fingers crossed, this one turns out good and doesn't taste of burnt rubber. Join us in two weeks. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button down there. And if you want to see more content like this, me tasting beers, me brewing beers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Cheers.